Hey everyone, we are taking a look at Dark Temple and this is a guild dungeon. The first thing we're going to have come up is share damage. Now the share damage, the people get stuck where they are, so you have to go to them. Um, we're going to have one share damage on number three and we're going to have another one by the boss. You need at least three people in the share damage circle, um, but you don't need like a whole ton more. The second thing you're going to notice here the off tank is going to have a message over their head and they're going to drop this directional uh, AOE. And you need to make sure that if you are the off tank, first of all, you take aggro early so that you are the second highest aggro. And then you're going to want to make sure that you drop this AOE um, in a direction that is not towards the rest of the raid. After that, the floor splits into two. So just move out of the yellow and move back like you just saw and you should be good with that. Now you'll notice it's still that directional area that I dropped the yellow um, in is still red, so just be careful of that. Next, you're gonna get these purple messages over your head, and the whole floor turns purple like this. So we're gonna all move to this blue marker. It is actually inside the purple, so you wanna make sure you stay inside the purple for just a few moments. If you read the message, you have to leave in groups. So group one is the first one to go out, and I'm in group one, so I'm gonna step outside the circle. Now you're going to see this echo buff that I have on me. It has a short timer on it, so wait for the second group until that drops off. Now group two is going to come out. And then you're going to continue with having the groups leave as the timer drops off. So here in the top window, you can see that they're still inside of the circle. And before that timer, before it's done, she's going to move out. If you leave one at a time, or I'll try to leave too fast, um, you're going to end up with people who have lower hit points dying. So just be careful. Now, again, we're gonna have to watch for the off tank getting the message over their head. Uh, now, they, again, it'll do a yellow AOE in the one section, and then it'll um, drop into red. So the other thing here is uh, we're switching tanks. We have two tanks. Uh, we go to about eight stacks and then we switch which tank is tanking. All right, up next we have sheer damage. Now we have numbers around the outside so people can go to the outside as well and know exactly which markers to meet the people for sheer damage at and also to separate the sheer damage a little bit. Now up next after the sheer damage is the like 66%. So what you need to do here is repeatedly hit the hourglass icon and each time you hit it, it will give a stack to melt the ice cube that you're in. When you get to seven stacks for the melt, the ice cube will go away. I just keep hitting it until you get the message from the boss that you need to go in the ice cube. When the casting bar under the boss's name is 50% and you get this yellow message, hit this blue ice cube to go into a block to avoid the AOE attack from the boss. All right, now we're gonna go back to the same thing we had before. The off tank is going to get them these directional AOEs. You're going to switch stacks. You're gonna have these share damage. You can see in the top window, um, she's going over the share damage and then back to the boss. And in the bottom, um, we're going to go ahead and get this directional AOE. Now there's more of the directional AOEs for the off tank. So just be careful as you're doing these, just move out of the yellow and make sure it's facing away from the raid. Immediately following this, the room splits into the two sides. Stay out of the yellow, so switch, and then switch back to the opposite side. So you're staying out of the yellow for that. All right, up next is the purple section for the room, and you're going to get pulled into the boss first, and then get the purple message over your head to move out. We all move out to this blue marker off to the side, and then move out in groups. So again, I'm in the first group, so I'm gonna move out right away, but you'll see the rest of the team stays inside. And in the top screen, they're gonna stay in even longer. They're the melee who are going to be inside uh, doing DPS as long as they can. So they're gonna be the last group to move out. During this section, make sure just continue to switch tanks because you can still get stacks during this section. Uh, now also uh, you'll see that right away I will get the message over my head that I've been locked and I'm gonna drop that yellow section again. So off tank, make sure to watch for where you're dropping that yellow and it, avoid those red areas. And now up next, we're going to get this message about freeing your teammates from the ice blocks. 
If you are not in ice, make sure you turn around and rescue those players that are in ice cubes. After this phase, um, at 33% and 66%, we're going to get the section where you have to start tapping on the hourglass again. Um, but here you can see um, it's still getting that switch tank message. And I think we've got a share damage first. Yes, so we've got our share damage next. And then um, you can see again, we have the person at the far side. We actually have markers for where we try to share damage. Um, and then we're gonna have this section where you have to click on the hourglass again until you melt your ice cube. When you get seven stacks, your ice cube will melt off and just continue to keep pressing that hourglass until you get the yellow message that you need to go into the ice cube. So we're just waiting for that yellow message and here it is. Because it's all really fast, I wanna pause here for a second and point out that when you get the frost barrier message, the casting bar under the boss's name is also at 50%. And at this point, you need to click the ice block icon to go into an ice block so that you do not die from the boss's AOE damage. So here you can see I am now in an ice block and the boss is casting the spell and I'm okay because I went into the ice block. All right, up next, you'll see that some of our players get red text over their heads for the share damage. Again, they can't move, so you have to have people go to them. There's one share damage in the back at our green square marker, and we're going to continue with the tank switching. So um, just continue to DPS at this point, and we're gonna drop more of these directional uh, yellow sections. It's actually, I think, about three at this point, so try to group them together a little bit. Um, so that it's not too spread out. After this is the half screen thing where you go um, on one side of the boss and then you switch to the other. So try not to be too far out from the boss. So here you can see half the room is yellow and we're gonna then switch to the other side and then switch back. When the boss's health gets to 10%, this is where it really gets interesting. All right, you're gonna have one player kind of at the center of these points. You can see that in the top screen they're gonna be controlling this switch. The switch controls which section is not in yellow, which section the players can go into. So here we have green. Now let's look at the red section first. So over here, the red section, there are two blue energy crystals and there are two green energy crystals and we are inside the red circle. So we need two players to pick up the green crystals and two to pick up the blue, and they need to be moved to the blue circle and the green circle. And the same goes with the other circles. You can see there's red energy crystals there, and you have to just go over and pick up a crystal. And once you pick up a crystal, you, can, you need to start walking towards your circle. So here you can get the blue ones out, and we have the two blue ones in probably from the green circle there. Now we're taking these green ones over to the green circle, but the next one to be free, once everybody's clear of that, is the red. So switch over to the red next and pick up the energy crystals there and move the other ones out. So you're gonna be putting down the red crystals in the red section and then move out as quickly as possible because you need to make sure that you don't get hit by that yellow and you need to switch before the casting bar is done. There's a counter at the top. So here we're going into the green, we're dropping that green crystal down and move out right away. Now we actually had a problem where you could have seen just a little bit ago that that green crystal was just outside of the circle. So we have to be careful. So now two people are going to put their crystals inside the blue. Now we've got four crystals in blue, four crystals in red, or we should have four crystals in red. Um, we'll see that in just a minute and then you can see here there's a green crystal just outside of the border and so once everybody gets that red section down it looks good now we're switching again pick up that green crystal really quickly move it inside and that will interrupt the boss's casting now we're going to go back in and just continue to dps the boss the tanks are going to be dropping a lot more yellow sections so just be careful where you're placing them for the off tank so just um, watch those soul storm sections when you're locked and just continue to drop them off as much as overlapping as you can because they're going to end up with a lot of um, the red area if you're not careful. So just continue to DPS the boss and I think that that's about it. 
So we're just switching tanks and dropping those yellow sections and trying to avoid filling up the room. I'm guessing that it will just continue to drop yellow until the whole room is filled up with red if you do not kill the boss fast enough. And that's about it. He is dead here, and so we were able to complete the raid. So I hope that you found this helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll see you next time.